what is up, what is up, what is up, S Club, it's Friday, guys, Friday, hopefully you guys are all having a good day, guys, we have what, four days, four or five days till the class DLC comes out, but today we did get some new mods, so that's a big plus, there will be no FS daily news today, because there's no testing list, because Chris is out sick, so hopefully Chris gets better, and we can see a new testing list on Monday, I don't know anything about the excavator, or the scorak, I have no idea about those guys, but anyways, 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 if you guys haven't checked out the channel earlier, I did post a first look at the Platinum DLC, so still, thank you Giants for hooking us up with this, so I'm able to show you guys it earlier. So make sure you guys do check out that video, I will leave a link in the comment section below guys. Let's get to these new mods though. Make sure you click that show all mod button like always, and here we go. Uh, the Annaburger HTS, which was an update which was released on Wednesday, uh, let's see, the fix the back door collision and added lights. Okay, and then also that this was a new mod, the M402 Disc Hero, which was released Wednesday. Uh, price is 12,500. Required power is 150, and working with is four meters. So let's download that one. And then let's see billboards. This is an update by Stoneway Design. This just came out today. Added six new brands, added a new model, and changed name to billboards. Okay, then another update: the Fent Vario 900 S5. Uh, let's see. I like how you can actually scroll now. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, version 2.0. Let's see. They fixed connect hoses, uh, fixed mirror, fixed wheelbase, fixed light flicker, fixed driving dynamics, fixed driver animation. Uh, they added agri bumper, uh, more configurations, intelligent light system, new store and icon picture, new grills, new decal for engine configuration, added new features in cabin, optical control elements in the interior, other sounds. New colors for rims and main body. Jeez, that's a lot. Okay, so there is that. Also, we this these are the new ones right here. The Tyrolean Farms, which is from the Tyrolean Alps. I'm probably pronouncing that whole name wrong. Sorry. Uh, let's see. This is a building pack. The pack contains eight different buildings. There are a house, two barns, and five sheds. At some buildings, you must adjust the terrain. Uh, that you can do in ed terrain editing, which I am not very good at terrain editing. <laughs> Uh, also a new one. This is the Agroliner HKD 302 Old by Gamer8250. Uh, let's see. Price is 20,000. Capacity is 21,000 liters. Uh, changes. Uh, laid hoses. New tires and rims. Rolled tar tarp. Uh, individual module re model revisions. Color adapted to real dump truck. Uh, one or three grain doors. Decals where the rear changes with. Tires and reflectors. So let's go ahead and install that. And then a surprise one, the Joskin Betamax RDS 6000 by Black Sheep Modding. Uh, trailers used to transport animals, price is 15,000. Capacity is four cows, eight sheep, and seven pigs. Still wanting a trailer to where we can, you know, transport chickens. We need something to transport chickens. Okay, then we also got a new map for the weekend, guys. This is the Walla Zabrozowska. Well, I'm probably butchering the name. Uh, this is by Zelik04. Uh, Walla Zabrzowska, big Polish map for Farming Simulator 19. On this map, you will find over 200 fields. Jeez. Uh, each of them is viable separate. There are four farms, several cell points, four villages, uh, traffic, pedestrian, and much more. Have fun. Jeez, 200. Wow. And then, of course, we have a new tractor, which is the Fiat 6566 by Paulo 1590R. Price is 8500 That's pretty cheap. And power is 65 horsepower. So, <laughs> not going to pull too much. Okay, so there is the mod. So, let's go over to Marble Man and we'll take a look at the Fiat, the Joskin, the Agroliner, and the buildings. So let's go over there, guys. Okay, here we are. Let's take a look at these new mods, guys. Okay, first one. There it is right there. This is the Fiat 6566. It is eight slots, 8,500. As you can see, there's different configurations for it. Uh, let's get in it real quick. Let's actually go over here. Let's uh, turn this thing on. Uh, let's see. There's the horn. That one horn like echoes. Huh. Okay, here is the inside. Let's turn it on. Uh, look at that. This is a nice old tractor right there. People said they wanted some old stuff, so here we go. Like everything works steering pedals oh, I'm liking this okay lights so there's only one set of lights on there uh, turn signals yes yeah, really nice little tractor let's go over here let's test out this one 
So this is the same one right here. It's just got a beacon and of course a cab over it. Okay, so there is that. Let's actually go over here. Uh, you can find them under small tractors all the way at the very end. There it is right there, 65 horsepower. Uh, you either have standard, uh, 175, 125, I mean 325, or 475, 575, and that's the front weights. Uh, let's see, you have design standard, or with beacon, or cabin type one, or cabin type two. And then you have front loader, yes or no. And then you have lizard, or R34, R34 TM600, uh, 421, and back to lizard. So there is the Fiat. Really, really nice tractor. Okay, next one, which was a surprise mod. This is the Joskin Betamax RDS 6000. Five slots, $15,000. This is, of course, an animal trailer. And this is by Black Shimani. And they always do so much detailed work on this stuff. It even has a beacon light in the back. Okay, you know what we're going to do? We're actually going to get in this real quick. Okay, let's go. That looks like a very uncomfortable position for that farmer. <laughs> okay, it looks like all the hoses hooked up right. Yep. Okay, so uh, we are on the Betamax. Unfold livestock. It lowers itself down. Uh, open cover. Okay, so it just uh, opens up, I guess. I mean, it doesn't open up, it just lowers, I guess. Dang it, I was hoping that, you know, the back gates would open and stuff like that, but I guess it does not. But it's still pretty cool that it does that. It lowers itself down. Yeah, because I don't see nothing. Yeah, nothing to open it or anything like that. Okay. So there is the Joskin. You can find the Joskin. Oops. Let's go over here. Let's go over to Animal Transport, which is right there. And there it is right there, 15,000. It can hold four cows, seven, seven sh pigs, and eight sheep. Uh, there's no options on that one. Okay, the next thing we got, oh, let me actually turn that off, is of course the AgroLiner HKD 302 Old. They are 11 slots, $20,000. It can hold 21,000 liters. Uh, pretty nice looking uh, trailers right here. Just, I don't like dolly hitches. <laughs> I always hated them. As you guys can see, there's different configurations. One for one grain door. This one has three grain doors right here. And of course, it does have a hook, so you can basically make a big old train of them if you wanted to. Uh, let's go over here. Let's go all the way over to our trailer section. And there you are right there, $20,000. So it's pretty cheap. You can hold pretty much anything. Main colors, you have green, darker green, uh, white, and brown. Design colors, yellow, red, green, and gray. You have Trellborg wheels, Lizard, or Michelin. Trellborg, you have standard or wide. And let's see. Lizard, you have standard, 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 just different kinds of standard. And you have design one, which basically changes the logo on it. And then reflectors, you have one, two, three. So one, two, or three. Does it change anything back there? No, it doesn't. Then you have one grain door or three grain doors. Okay, so that is the AgriLiner. Really, really nice mod. Okay, the last but not least, we have the uh, Terralon, Terralene, I'm, I'm probably butchering the name, farm, uh, buildings pack. Uh, these runs from two to 10 slots, oh, wait, 1,500 to $90,000. Uh, so yes, this is pretty big actually. If you guys ever played that map, you guys would definitely recognize these buildings. Uh, here is your house. Really nice little house. Go all the way up here, go up here, and here is your sleeping trigger. So there is that one. This house looks like it's made out of concrete. That's a big toilet. Okay, so go all the way over here. Here's your TV, your living room. Okay, so there's that one, and then how do you get in here? Okay, so here is like a little bitty storage area, I'm guessing. I wonder how you get up there. Huh. I went in there. So there's that one. There's also this one right here. So another little bitty storage area kind of looking thing. These are some really nice ones. And then of course we have a whole bunch of garages and that right there. 
Move birds. Got a little few little. These actually look really nice. And where's the entrance on this one? I guess there is no entrance. <laughs> okay, so how you guys can find these? Let's go all the way over here. Let's go to placeables. And the farmhouse there is the farmhouse, which is $180,000. And then all the rest are in the sheds. We have Farm Barn 01, which is $90,000. And this thing can actually hold stuff. This actually holds 250,000 liters of hay or straw. Okay, and then we got Farm Barn 02. Decorative object, uh, Farm Garage 01. Farm Garage 02, which is 12,000. Farm Garage 03, which is 3,000. Farm Garage 04, which is 5,500. And then Farm Garage 05, which is 8,500. So that is the whole pack right there. And that is the mods for today. Let me know what you guys' favorite is. We got the, of course, the Fiat uh, 6566. We have the Joskin Animal Trailer. We have the Agriliner, or we have the Building Pack. Let me know. Remember, guys, in the comment section below, put hashtag FS Consoles. Like always, guys, if you guys did like the video, make sure you guys pound that like button. If you have not subbed, make sure you guys do. Like always, have an all-state farmers. Peace. Yeah.